So in my quest to figure out whether these energetic whole body orgasms that I'm experiencing just like this are actually real or are they fake, I set on a mini scientific experiment um, to measure the um, hormonal changes in my blood uh, before and after I'm experiencing this orgasm. So what I did is I went in three times to take blood tests one was a baseline where I wasn't doing anything except for reading a book and letting the time pass and then just checking the hormone changes after 10 minutes and after half an hour. Um, a second time uh, I went in and I did a five minute orgasm uh, measuring the hormonal changes before and after and also after half an hour rest. And the third time I went in, uh, again I took the blood test and we went into a 10 minute orgasm and then uh, took the third sample after half an hour rest. And, uh, and this was my mini experiment that you're going to see now. I'm about to take my first uh, blood test and this is in a normal condition. So uh, that will be the first one. And then I will go into an orgasm for five minutes. We'll take another test straight after. And then we'll wait for half an hour and then take another blood test. So this is quite exciting. And uh, we'll see what the results bring. So five minutes, here we go. changes that are generally associated with a, with a female orgasm. Oh, it's intense but it feels really really good. <laughs> We're gonna set the time again. So now we we'll set the time for half an hour. And I'll just relax for half an hour and then take the third blood sample to see um, the after effects. Mm. So yeah, this is a topic that and some people have commented that you're so courageous to to do it or expose yourself like that. And to be honest, they ha I do have a lot of dilemmas within me almost because sexuality is often maybe portrayed as something negative or low or dirty or sinful even but my understanding of it is it is something so sacred it's it's the energy from which we were born so it should actually be honored and and my dream is that it is it is like honored and respected the whole topic over sexuality so this is why i I'm, I'm doing this i'm putting myself on display let's say to to create a discussion over this topic so people would be okay to talk about it so they wouldn't be embarrassed to talk about it too um, 
to have it as something normal to discuss because it does impact so much of our life. Like this is this is the very essence from where we get the energy to do anything else really in our life, our source of creativity, our source of well being, both physically and emotionally and, and mentally and and I do believe if women are capable of um, reaching like this deep, deep satisfaction within themselves, they can really, let's say, shine or, or just raise the energy of this world and 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 radiate it toward towards whatever is important to them, like either to their family or friends or to their projects, to their work, to to themselves and um, and just have more relaxed and harmonious existence. But because sexuality is something that causes so much embarrassment to discuss or to talk, especially if something is not okay with it, then I do have a feeling that a lot of women are just suffering in silence, either not knowing where to look or how, how, to, how to find solutions or not even knowing that something like this is possible because what I just did, I know every woman can do it, I know it because I used to be very, very disconnected to my own sexuality and, and it was a huge weight on my shoulders and I didn't know how to have sex and I was deeply dissatisfied sexually and I had so many emotional imbalances and lack of self-confidence and, and weak health and, and I do associate a lot of it with the inability to be connected to the very essence from which you were born. If this is not charging you, if this is not alive in you, if this is not supporting you, if it's like locked or blocked then then it's like you'd have no gasoline to, to feed yourself. And I was very embarrassed to, to discuss it and I didn't know where to look or how to deal with it, so... So I'm pretty sure that most of you who are watching, you are actually starting off from a much better position, maybe, <laughs> than I, I did. I don't know, maybe some of you also have some very challenging experiences. But whatever experiences you have, as long as you're willing to let go of the programming that I can't or I'm not able to if you're willing to let go of that and just work on yourself a bit and find this essence within you because every woman has a feminine essence and if you just get connected to it then then this beautiful source just awakens in you so it's not about doing what I do, it's about connecting to who you are. So apparently normal orgasm, or I don't know, the word normal maybe isn't the right thing, lasts about one minute and then the after effects can last up to a few hours, like the hormonal changes that happen in your body. So, yeah, we'll just see how this compares with like absolutely no genital stimulation. Yeah. For now, just checking the ability of our mind to change the physical uh, hormonal levels in our body. So now um, I will be sharing the detailed results of my blood tests 
um, in my quest to figure out whether my energetic orgasms could be considered as real orgasms. And the main hormone that we were looking at was prolactin. Because in previous research, it has been shown that women who were having intercourse and reported having one or two orgasms, um, there was a significant increase in prolactin. So today it's acknowledged that prolactin is one of those hormones that definitely um, goes up if a woman is having an orgasm. And um, in my baseline test, uh, the prolactin uh, was pretty much at the same level. Uh, there were slight changes uh, going from 206 to 208 to 238, the number that I'm looking at here, uh, but nothing very significant. Um, in the five minute orgasm, the prolactin did surge up 25% from the baseline, still stayed quite high up after half an hour rest. And in the 10 minute orgasm, the prolactin actually jumped up 48% from the baseline. So uh, apparently these energetic orgasms that I'm experiencing are actually scientifically measurable and um, are real orgasms. So this is very exciting uh, news. And uh, I will be continuing this research because there are also other hormones involved, such as uh, oxytocin and vasopressin, uh, which we weren't able to measure at this point. Uh, so definitely there will be more uh, coming on this topic soon.